courtside at the Physical Education Complex here at Coppin State University. Todd Barley joined by the Athletic Director here at Coppin State, Derek Carter. Getting set for Coppin State and Florida A&M in men's basketball. If you're just dialing in, the women have improved to 2-1 and one on the year with a 62-56 win over Florida A&M. They'll next go on the road to North Carolina Central on Saturday at 2 before going to North Carolina A&T on Monday at 5.30. For the visitors... From Florida A&M, the Rattlers are 2-16 on the year, 1-1 in the MEAC after an 84-76 win across town. That's all I'm going to say about that. 84-76 was the win. Next up, Bethune-Cookman on Saturday, Delaware State on Monday for the Rattlers. Preseason pull put Florida A&M just in front of Coppin State at number 11. They're going to deploy Justin Ravenelli, 6'1", junior, out of Livonia, Georgia as a guard. He'll be flanked by Elijah Mays, a six-foot senior out of Orlando, Florida. And then across the front, it's going to be 6'5", Marcus Barham, a 6'5", senior out of Melbourne, Florida at the three. Desmond Williams, a 6'6", senior out of Atmore, Alabama at the four. Nick Severado, 6'8", junior out of Savannah, Georgia at the five. Under first-year head coach Robert McCollum. Speaking of first-year head coaches, it's Juan Dixon here at Coppin State. Winless on the year. 0-2 in the MEAC. The laugh, by the way, is the greeting was player to coach. However, Coach Dixon is already into full lobbying mode talking to one of the three officials here tonight. It's going to be Karan Davis, 6-2, graduate transfer out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's the lead guard. He'll be flanked by Taquan Drummond, 6-4 freshman out of Newport News, Virginia. <laughs> the three is going to be 6-6 junior. Lamar Morgan out of Willingboro, New Jersey. The four is Adam Treyor. And the five is Cedric Council Jr., 6'8 Jr. out of Kennesaw, Georgia. Of course, the loss to Savannah State, 80-71 on Saturday. Coach Dixon is showing he's gaining a little bit of experience every, every game now, understanding to start working the referees before the game. Before it even tips yeah. off. Yeah. We talk about Morgan getting in the gym. He's already doing it before the mm -hmm. game even starts. Uh -huh. It's the little things. You look at the record. You can't let it be a factor. Looking at Florida A&M at two and sixteen overall, one and one in the MEAC. However, this is a game Coppin's got to have. Absolutely. Uh, you know we're going to have to figure out a way to win. It, just, it, it becomes contagious when you continue to lose. And this is the game that we're going to have to figure out a way to win. Whatever it takes, we have to win it. Coppin will be in the home whites, trimmed in navy, and metallic gold. Florida A&M comes out in a very Miami alternate color jersey. It's the orange with the white and black trim. Only thing missing is that green. That Miami and the Hurricanes yeah, wear yeah. occasionally. I almost wonder where's the U sign, you know? They have it. There's there's a U <laughs> in FAMU. <laughs> and everybody got together, and they've all got the orange shoes. That's very Tennessee-ish mm, back in your day. Mm, like orange that. Shoe. Yeah, yeah. By the way, since our last conversation, they did get the coaching thing sorted out. It took a long time, but I guess I guess they got it. Right. They went to where they go, Alabama. Well, if you had to settle for a second choice, when your first choice is getting a hundred million over ten years, I, I guess that's all right. Yeah, that's what it is. It's Council Junior to tip it with Sephirado, and we're about ready to go. Tip control by FAMU to get us going. On TV, they'll come left to right on radio. It's opposite. Between the rings, Williams, top side of the right. He'll feed it off. Ball him down to catch between the rings. Gives it your side left. Mays on the catch, 13 to shoot. Bouncing off between the rings now to Williams. Williams, top side of the right. Now for Ravenel, 7 to shoot. Ravenel. Defended by Drummond. Swings it off between the rings to Barham. Two to shoot. Launches the three. Rim it popped out. Trey or the rebound. Hands it off to Drummond. Now Drummond will run the show. Up the left sideline. Ball screen hand off to Morgan. Morgan coming back to his right to the head of the key. Swings it off to Davis. Davis coming left to the council screen. Screeches to a halt. Got away with a walk. Hands it off to Trey or Top side right. Ten to shoot. 
Looking for a ball screen, handoff back to Morgan, sets the feet, wants the three, it's good. Lamar Morgan and Poppett's got a 3 nothing lead. That's what we just talked about, isn't it? Head of the key. Severato with it, near side left in the hands of Barham. Back between the rings, Ravenel on the catch. Swings it far side of the right. Now to Mays, 15 to shoot. Reverse it back between the rings. Williams thought about a step back three and a hand check call at the head of the key or a travel. It's on Treor, his first. That came with 11 seconds on the shot clock. That was a tough call. Is that one of those, Derek, where he's trying to hedge against that screen? That's exactly what he was doing. But he has to know the, the, where we are on the shot clock. Lob the top. Mays on the catch. Dribbles left, bounce it off, left side extended, Williams trying to back his way in, turns, fires with 15, misses wide to the right. Drummond now to Davis, up the right side quickly to Traylor, put it behind his back, hands it off to Davis, swings it top side left to Drummond. Drummond faces up, now hands it high left to Morgan behind the arc, left wing, 18 to shoot. Feeds it back to Drummond, he'll collect it at the jump circle, saves it to the forecourt to Traylor, 13 to shoot. Troyer off the bounce, down the doorstep, Council goes up, rattles it with two hands, missed it, wave it off. That's going to be a goaltending call against Council. That's a tough break. We had the shot, we won it. Two-hand finish, but the rim was unkind. Like the authority he went up with, though. Yeah, yeah we, we're working on him to finish a little stronger. Baseline left take by Barham, but he used an illegal screen. It's on Mays, that's his first. Trey to Davis, Davis is greeted in the backcourt, in between the rings. As the Rattlers match up, man to man with pressure, Moore with it, excuse me, Morgan with it, head of the key, now to Trey back to Morgan, going right, baseline right penetration, Glasno said, follows it up with two hands. There you go. Five nothing, Coppin State. Mays on the bounce right, went right up the arm of Severato. Hands it off high right now to Barham. Barham coming to his left. Hesitation dribble to the free throw line. Bounce it weak side left to Mays. Thought about a three, comes back to his right. Now hit it a key. They'll swing it to Severato. Back to his right to Ravenel. Ten to shoot. It comes back to your side left. Into the hands of Barham. Skip past far side of the right. Ravenel wants a three and it's on the way and good. Make it a 5-3 Eagles lead, 17-12 to go, first half. Morgan with it, nearly had it taken away, a step into the forecourt. Hands it back to Davis, at the time stripe. Back toward the jump circle, 15 to shoot. Davis goes left, ball screen handoff down for Drummond. Back head of the key, now to Morgan. Morgan facing up, hands it off to Council. Back to the basket with six, down to five, dribbles right, ball screen handoff. Gave it up to Drummond, three, down to two. Feeds it inside, and with one on the shot clock, he stepped out of bounds. Trey Thomas will check in for the first time tonight. He'll replace Drummond. And I believe on Saturday he may have been a healthy scratch. He was a healthy scratch. Um, I'm glad to see him on the floor, and hopefully he's ready to play because we do need Trey, particularly offensively, to... Down to the doorstep, glass and good by Severato. And this game is tied at five. We can't afford defensive lapses like that either. Thomas after a bounce, swings it left side now to Davis. Davis into the forecourt. Looking left to Morgan, Morgan catches the ball screen, hand off. Deep three up the left wing, rimming off. Rebound to Williams. Ahead of the pack down to Mays. Mays into the forecourt, swings it far side of the right. A three ball on the way by Barham, back of the rim no good. Said knocks it loose and Troy are coming left to right. That's on radio, by the way, opposite on your television screen. Treyor had it knocked away and a whistle and a foul against Florida A&M. Hey, it it's on Severato. That's his first. We have a monitor if they want to review if he was in the act of shooting. <laughs> I think they got it right. So Trey Orr will have two free throws coming at the free throw line. New York City product. First one on the way, and it's good. 
Coppin back on top at 6-5. Come on, guys. Second one's on the way. Good again. Trey Organa both make it a 7-5 Coppin State lead. Nearly four minutes in. Mays the handle. Hands it off between the rings. Not a Severano. Back to Mays on the right wing behind the arc. Head of the key. Now for Reveno. Knocked loose. Here comes Davis. Karan Davis. Scoop and score with a right hand. 9-5 Eagles on top by four. We need to see more. Of, I like the fact that we get to see fast break points. We don't see enough transition baskets. So that's and good to see. If you can believe it, he did that with a shoe untied. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Far side of the right, Raveno. Back between the rings. Now for Barham. 13 to shoot. Back to Raveno. Right of the lane. Coming across the lane is Williams. And a whistle and contact with 15-18 to go in this first half. It's on Treyor. That's his second. It brings us to the first time out of the night. 15-18 to go in the opening half. It's now Coppin State 9. For the A&M 5, we're back after this 60-second time out of the Coppin State Sports Network. Of all football teams lose every Sunday, which means 50% of fans lose too. But Buffalo Wild Wings offers them a chance at redemption. Just swivel that losing face 12 degrees, and there's more football with a fresh 50% chance of winning. Now it's your turn to laugh at someone else's losing face. Unless it's you again. Then, just try another 12 degrees. Tons of football and tons of TVs. We do it for you. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Coppin State University means something different to everyone. Jason is a recent high school grad. Attending Coppin full-time, getting his four-year degree, preparing for a lucrative career. Kimberly took time off to start a family and now attends Coppin part-time and enjoys the affordability and supportive environment. Kazim wants to change careers and finds that Coppin provides the flexibility he needs to keep working while getting that second degree. Coppin State University, something different to everyone, something special for you. Your home for Coppin State Athletics, Sports Talk, WNST 1570 Towson, and online, Fox Sports, Williamsport.com, Stream 6. 15-18 to go in the opening half. It's Coppin State 9 for a and 5. Top will be joined by Athletic Director here at Coppin State, Derek Carter. On a frigid night, but so far, both these teams right in it, 9-5. 4-2 rebounding margin to Coppin State. Turnovers, not much yet to talk about it, 2-1, to one, but the fast break points. Hopefully we'll see more of that. Transition buckets. Nothing like a free throw attempt to stop the transition. Williams knocks it down, make it a 9-6 Coppin State lead. Ken Auslander checked in out of the media timeout for Coppin State. Williams got them both, give him two in the game and make it a two-point Coppin State lead at 9-7. Davis gave it up to Thomas, now to Auslander, turning right just inside the arc, skips it toward the lane, and Trey regains control, top side left with 15 to shoot. Ball screen hand off to Morgan, coming to his right. Top side of the right to Davis. Davis to the doorstep to Morgan. Tough catch, and he throws it off the backside of Ravino and out of bounds. That was a good catch. He, pre he prevented that turnover. Seven to shoot. Davis from the baseline to inbound. Looking, looking, gets it into Thomas. Top side right, coming back to his left. Lobs it down to Council on the doorstep. Glass and good. 11-7 Coppin State on Sed's first field goal. Check it, second field goal of the night. Top side left Mays. Left wing behind the arc. A lot of traffic as they said. Two screens head of the key. Williams nearly into your living room. Gives it back to Mays. 13 to shoot. Right elbow pull-ups on the way and good. Elijah Mays. He got away with that push-off too. We almost had a souvenir. <laughs> Oslander's got it, backcourt, one step to the forecourt, swings it left side to Thomas and picked off. Severado pitches ahead, galloping to the lane, glass and go to the right hand is Williams. And again, we're tied at 11. Nearly six minutes in, Thomas and Davis playing two-man, forecourt and backcourt. Davis in between the rings. 
Feeds it off the council. Head of the key. Turns to his left. Morgan trying to come off the defender. Goes left of the lane. Right to the rack. Spin with the right hand and scores. 13-11. Popping back on top. 13-39 to go first half. Severado gave it up near side left. Attacking the rim is Barham and came up empty. Thomas up the right side to Davis. Davis right of the lane. Now into the lane. Shovels it back to Council. Head of the key three on the way. Front of the rim no good. Got a good look, DZ. Just didn't get it to finish. He got the look. I like the fact that we're getting points in the paint today, though. So two keys already. Fast break. And points in the paint. The third facet, that behind the arc thing, will soon drop as well. Back head of the key now, and it hands to Williams. Your side left. Three ball on the way by Ravenel. Right of the rim and off. Offensive rebound. And the follow is a foul as Severado will be rewarded with free throws. It's on set. That's his first. That's his first foul. A little birdie told me earlier today that there's a game being played in Georgia today. So being that he's from Kennesaw, Georgia, and then you got Severato out of Savannah at the line missing the free throw. I, I wonder if they've kind of got their eye on their phone at halftime. Two Georgia guys, huh? Morgan checks out. Drummond is back for Comp and State. On the floor for the first time is Chad Andrews Fulton. Chad's a Philly guy. Love the energy he brings to this team. He does. He's a, a, a tough kid who does a lot of the intangibles that we need to be done, you know, the dirty work. Severano split a pair, making a 13-12 Coppet State lead, 12.45 to go in this first half. Drummond's got it high left. Now orbits the dribble to his right to the head of the key. Now for Andrews Fulton, gave it back to Drummond. Penetration off the left side, kick out to Thomas. Swings the top side of the right to Oslander. Right wing behind the arc, Davis with eight to shoot. Karan facing up with six, down to five, coming to his left. Step back right, three is on the way, rimming off. Rebound to Coor. Hands it off, head of the key. Down the hands of Miles. Brendan Miles had it deflected away. Andrews Fulton down the floor. Davis on the bounce, checking the rearview mirror, scores with the right hand. There's that transition. There you go. Yes. I like it. Far side of the right. Core on the catch. Swings it off between the rings. Out of bar. He'll face up. Back right side. Core one to three. Back of the rim. No. Davis knocks it loose. Andrews Fulton collects the rebound. Now for Davis. Runs it back to the forecourt. Right side. Thomas behind the arc. Head fake on a three. And then gives it back to Davis to his left. Andrews Fulton sets the screen. Little pick and roll action. Goes weak side left to Drummond. He'll have to save it in far side left. Out of Oslander. Left corner. Reverse it back to Andrews Fulton. 15 foot step in. Rim and off. Rebound to Core. Nearly had it knocked away by his own teammate. Threw it up the floor. Out of Barham. Barham draws the double team. Bounce it off into the key. Down to Severado. Mays. Right side. Penetration by Core. Fights it up. Glass. No, but a whistle and a foul. With 11.22 to go in the half. The foul is assessed on Oslander. That's his first, and it brings us to immediate timeout. 11.22 to go in the opening half. It's now Coppin State 15, Florida A&M 12. Back after this 60-second timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network. Hello? Oh, hi, Maurice. Sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Yes, Friday will work. What time will you pick me up? Pardon? Why can't you pick me up? Guys, if you turn 18 and don't register with the Selective Service System, you can't get a driver's license in most states. Register today at sss.gov on your computer or smartphone. It's quick, it's easy, it's the law. What do you mean I can take the bus? Hey, Russell Wilson here, and I know how important exercise is. It's essential, it's essential. To play 60, United Way, and the NFL are helping kids stay active and play at least 60 minutes a day. LDK, LDK. But what this place needs is you. To donate or volunteer, go to unitedway.org slash play 60. Because great things happen when we live united. Donate, donate. Are you guys going to do that every time? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. That court shot here at the PEC at Coppage State University. Todd Bartley with that left director, Derek Carter here at Coppage State. That rebound margin, zero. It's even at six. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, I'm, I want to see shooting percentages because 
the fact that we're getting layups and, and buckets in the paint uh, is really going to help us at, at, as we progress through the game because we're shooting better percentage shots. Mm -hmm. 50 and 40 percent in the first nearly nine minutes, if you will. Yeah, and we haven't seen that in our previous contest, if you, if you think about it. Yeah, we're knocking on wood. Hopefully we'll continue this. Eight and a half minutes in the first half does not make a game. No, but you have to start well to play well. Core puts it on the way in good, making a 15-13 Eagles lead. Usually those good starts lead to pretty good finishes as well. That's the plan. <laughs> so far they're executing well. Rim it off. Andrews Fulton the rebound. The one thing we've seen consistently throughout this season is a five-minute lapse for a compensate in both teams. Both coaches have addressed that. So far, nine minutes in, no lapse. Andrews Fulton turning to his right, facing up at the elbow to the doorstep. Thomas tough with his back to the basket. Scores with the right hand. Trey Thomas. Great execution on that play. Miles has got another layup. Our side of the right to Core. Near side left to Mays. Mays defended by Davis. He'll give him the left hand. Back between the rings to Barham. 13 to shoot. Barham runs in a lane. Deflected and stolen by Davis. Karan on the run back. Holds up in between the rings. Now, I know there was an award show last night on TV, but he was trying for he was trying. an award right there. Thomas coming to his left. High left to Oslander. 15 to shoot. Trying to go around core. Goes left of the lane. Fights one up. Glass rim it popped off. On the run back, it's Barham to the head of the key. Feeds it off to a trailer. That's Williams. Threw it off the side of the window. No good. Intended for Miles. Loose ball to Drummond. Gives it up to Davis. Davis top side left. Back between the rings. Approaching the halfway point of the first half. Coppin leads FAMU 17-13. Andrews Fulton ducks in, scores, and got fouled. Chad Andrews Fulton. Once again, fouls on Miles, that's his first. Once again, great execution on the pick and roll. Another high percentage shot. That's what I'm going to preach tonight. High percentage shots. We talked about the pick and roll when Coach Dixon took this job. And he brought that in from his days with the Terps, but more so in the NBA. Sure, sure. If you watch any NBA game, that's that's the nature of the game. And and. You know, you, it takes a while to understand the timing of pick and roll and all of that, but uh, the way we're doing it tonight is, is definitely, it certainly has improved. So five straight, make it a 2013 Coppin State lead. Chad got the free throw, give him three total points in this opening half, 9.45 to go in the half, Coppin up 2013. Ravenel with it, feeds it high. Turning left, back of the rim, no, and the Williams attempt because he was fouled, and they're going to call Drummond with the foul. That's his first. We mentioned in the pregame, D.C., that if you could get Baltimore to come here to Compton on the recruiting side, and then you get Newport News in there in the Tidewater region, get a guy out of there. He's got New York City with Treyor, get a guy out of there. A little bit of Georgia. I mean, it's all here for the taking. Well, you said it. That the You could tie a bow around Baltimore in about a 150 to 200 mile radius. There are enough quality ball players in this area that it's no excuse for us to be able to turn the program around, raise our talent level, and get young men who are going to come to Coppin as uh, great students and ball players. Well, my geography lesson told me that D Washington, D.C. is within like an hour. <laughs> That's on a good day with traffic. Uh, absolutely. Andrews Fulton at the right elbow. Make it a 2014 Coppin State lead. Drummond having a hard time with the handle. Packs it out with eight. Goes baseline right. Feeds it wide left. As Brownlee steps in. Fights up a fadeaway left of the rim and off. Andrews Fulton saves that rebound and the possession. Brownlee coming down Broadway. Fights out of the right hand. Right of the rim. No good. Nine minutes to go first half. Mays has it. Pulls up from 15 and drains it. Makes it a 2016 Coppin lead. 8.52 to go in the half. Oslander to Drummond, into the forecourt, now to Brownlee. Lucian circles back to the jump circle. 
Down for Chan Andrews. Fulton coming to the head of the key with a right-hand bounce. Hands it off right of the lane. Drummond right to the rack and scores. The freshman makes it a 22-16 Coppet State lead. Mays with it, now head of the key. Williams faces up, now goes far side of the right. Into the hands of Barham. Barham, skip pass near side left. Nice catch on the bench by Karan Davis. And uh, you know what? Karan Davis plays well on the court, and even on the bench he's involved in the game. This is a, a good stretch for us to maintain with Karan being on the bench, too. Treyor checks back in. Oslander will take a seat. Brownlee on the inbound now for Drummond. Feeds it off to Morgan, who also checked back in. Davis heads to the table and reverses field because the under-8 media timeouts almost upon us, so he'll check in after the media timeout most likely. Troy Orr turns left to the free throw line, trying to break down Severado. Got him in the air, fights one up, rim, it trickles off. Andrews Fulton, the follow, rim no, but a whistle and a foul. That foul is on Revenel. That's his first, and it brings us to the aforementioned under-8 media timeout, which comes at 7.59 to go opening half. Coppin State leads FAMU 22-16. Back after a 60-second timeout of the Coppin State Sports Network. Mouth. That poor parched mouth. So dry. What did you eat for lunch? Chalk dust? Did your face storm a sandcastle? Did your mouth cannonball into a barrel of mothballs? You're being awfully quiet. Is it because your mouth feels like the business end of a Dremel saw? Is it because your mouth just wrote a haiku and all 17 syllables are dry heaves? Do you even listen to your mouth? Because right now your mouth thinks its biological parents are a half sheet of 80 grit sandpaper and a box of fish food. You're so parched. You don't know it. I know it. The entire radio knows it. Just admit it. You want a Mountain Dew? Your mouth feels like it just inhaled the insides of a punching bag, and the only remedy is that neon green potion. Right now, your mouth could be tongue bathing in a refreshing citrus kick of Mountain Dew. Instead, it feels like you've been motorboating King Tut's sarcophagus. What was that? Is that your parched mouth crying for help or a porcupine making movie with a cardboard box? Wrong. It's your mouth. Show some mercy. Crack open a nice cold Mountain Dew. <sighs> you know your mouth wants you to. Do the deal. Seven fifty nine to go opening half. It's now Coppin State 22, Florida A&M 16. Todd Barley with the athletic director here at Coppin State, Derek Carter, courtside at the PEC. And at the under-8 media timeout, points in the paint. We like to call those zero-footers. Coppin with a commanding advantage. And that's what we need. That is exactly what we need to be successful. 16-4. to four. Keep it rolling, fellas. Now, what's interesting is I, I just learned something watching Coach Dixon coach from the sideline with Chad Andrews Fulton. He was a guard in most of his playing days, if I'm not mistaken. He just showed Andrews Fulton a post move, and Chad knocks down that free throw. Well, Coach Dixon was a guard, but Coach, Coach Dixon will tell you he could play any position. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you <laughs> mention that. He'll, he'll love to try to back a big man down every now and then. Chad split a pair, make it 23-16. Over the holiday, it was in Ohio. I got a chance to listen to a Cavs game, and they let the players announce themselves on the radio broadcast. Of course, it's pre-recorded. They go through, this guy's at the 5, this guy's at the 4, this guy's at the 3, this guy's at the 2. LeBron James says, LeBron James, every position. Every position. Right, right. 10 to shoot. High left, it comes to Barham. Barham goes left, five to shoot, backs it out with four, down to three, hands it off to Williams with two, down to one. Did it come out of his hand in time? No, it did not. Shot clock violation. Great defense. Great defense by Cop. By the way, who's going to argue with the king? Oh, the great ones think they can play every position. <laughs> he does, though. Doesn't he play every position? For play. Turnover by the Eagles. Hand off head of the key now to Williams. Williams head of the key. Right side to Mays. Mays. Right side kick out, and that three ball is going to rattle home for Ravenel. His second triple gives him six and makes it a 23-19 Coppin lead. Seven minutes to go in the opening half. Hey, run the play! Run the play! Davis into the forecourt. Comes back between the rings. Picks up the bounce. High left to Treyor. Treyor trying to get it to Morgan. Morgan with his back to the basket on the far block. He'll get it now on the catch with 12 to shoot. Fade away from 15. Rim no, but a whistle and a foul. That's a new wrinkle, posting up by Morgan. Ravenel just picked up his second, so he knocks down that big three in that right corner, 
and most likely may have to take a seat with 6.49 to go, picking up his second foul. Let's go. It sends Morgan to the free throw line. Can't get it to drop, makes it 23-19. Trey Thomas replaces Lucian Brownlee, and Ken Oslander replaces Chad Andrews Fulton. Adam Treyor comes back. Cedric Council Jr. checks back in as well. Morgan. Splits a pair. Give him six. Lead is five at 24-19. Coppin State. 6.45 to go first half. Barm on the catch far side right. Now between the rings to Williams. Williams near side left. It comes to Mays. Mays back out of the key. Ravenna wants that three one more time. And make it a long two. That front foot was on the line. Make it 24-21, Coppin State. Ravino now with eight in the opening half. Davis on the bounce, coming to his left, defended by Mays. Tried to clear him off with the right arm. Trying to use a council screen, going right of the lane, feeds it back to Council. Free throw line faced up, rim, and it rattles home, Cedric Council. That was great two-man basketball right there. Little modified pick and roll, if you will. Makes it 26-21, Coppin State. On the catch right, Barham. Reverse it back, head of the key. One bounce and a feed. Severado, give it near side, left to Ravenel. Ravenel with 13 to shoot, give it back to Mays. Bouncing off the right elbow. Back to the basket now for Severado. Hands it back to Ravenel behind the screen. Three, rim it off. Davis and Council collide for the rebound. It's going to be Seb pulling it down and hands it off to Trey Thomas. Now for Davis, quickly into the forecourt. Top side right, crossover dribble around the Council screen. Pick and roll move to Council. Comes back to his right with a right hand hook. Can't get it to drop off the back iron. Your side left, Ravenel. Ravenel back Co outside Co left to Mays. Coach Dixon, should coach, coach Dixon is all in, in my broadcast now. <laughs> we have a third headset if you want to join us. Your side left, Mays. Mays wants that three as an answer and he'll drain it. Give him seven. 26 24, Coppin State by two. Nearly five minutes to go. Oslander and Davis playing two man in the backcourt. Now to Davis. Trying to use that council screen to the right. He does. Davis trying to come left. He will to the head of the key. Hesitation dribble. Dump it off to Sed. Going strong. Yeah. Rim it popped off, but he's got free throws coming. One year of being in the weight room. We'll be finishing that next year. So Sed's going to have free throws coming. With 4.53 to go in the half. First one's on the way and good. Makes it 27 24, Coppin State. Just with the nature of the offense, he's going to get great looks to where he's going to have to finish those. Well, he split he'll a pair. He'll get and ones because he's going to get fouled. 27 24 as he split a pair. Top side left. Barham on the catch. Swings it off to Williams. He's checking for teeth right now. Almost took that one right in the face. Mays with it high right. 12 to shoot. Bounce it down far block. Tough catch there for Severado. The turnaround comes rim it off. I believe out of the hand of Williams. Thomas on the run back. Now to Oslander. Oslander kicks it out right corner. Morgan with it. Now back to Oslander. Top side right. Council sets the screen. Oslander goes to the right. Thought about a pick and roll. Reverse it off to Davis. It's over his head off his fingers. And out of bounds. Comes with 4.12 to go in the half. And a three here by FAMU ties the game. So the inbound will be by Barham on the far side. Gives it up to Mays. Mays head of the key. Bounce it off to the elbow. On to catch it's Williams. Gave it back to your side left. Barham wants the three to tie and strokes it home. Third tie comes at 27 each. We, under have, four we, to go have, to half. Protect, we have to protect the basketball. Davis to Oslander. Back to Davis in the backcourt. Coming across the time stripe. Now to the forecourt. Nearly poked away from behind. Ball screen hand off that of Thomas. Thomas coming left. Now to Morgan facing up with 13 to shoot. Morgan. Top side right. Now to Davis with seven. Down to six. Free throw line face up on the way. Good. Karan Davis. 29-27, Coppin State back on top. 3.25 to go in the half. 
Near side left. Beat it off now to Ravino. Back between the rings to Mays. Top side of the right at the elbow. Williams turns, faces up, hands it off to Barham. Lob inside, poked off the window by Morgan. Council up the left side out of Davis. Karan to the floor court. Goes left to the lane, spins off to his right, give it up to Council. Head of the key three is on the way. Rim, no. He followed his shot, DC. He knew it was bad out of his hand. Oh, he could tell when he released it, it was off. So he did it right to follow it. Barham, line to the lane. Kicks it out, Ravino. Back to Barham. Left side, three. It's on the way. Good. Nice tough shot. Barham now is six, and for the first time, a lead change. And Florida A&M has a 30-29 lead with 2.35 to go in the half. Davis with it. Hands it off to Oslander, head of the key, 15 to shoot. Trying to face up on Barham. Hands it off to Morgan, head of the key. Hesitation dribble to his right. Right of the lane, fights one up. It's blocked out of bounds by Severino coming over with health defense when we come back out of the timeout. Eight seconds to shoot for Coppin State. They trail Florida A&M, 30-29, back at 60 seconds on the Coppin State Sports Network. SSS.gov presents good advice from Dad. Do that. Dad's advice is usually pretty simple. Don't do that. Here's Dad on important topics like asking out that girl you like. Do that. On asking out her sister. Don't do that. Now here's Dad on going to SSS.gov and registering with Selective Service when a young man turns 18. Do that. See? Dad knows it's the law and that registering will preserve your eligibility for college loans and government jobs. Go to SSS.gov today and register. Do that. Did you know that all young men must register with the Selective Service System within 30 days of their 18th birthday? It's a good thing to know because those who don't register aren't eligible for student aid, federal jobs, or job training programs. They also can't obtain a driver's license in most states. But another good thing to know is how simple it is to register. Just visit sss.gov on your computer or smartphone. It only takes about 30 seconds. It's quick, it's easy, it's the law. So out of the media timeout with 2.21 to go in the half, FAMU now, Derek Carter, has a 30-29 lead in our first lead change of the night. Yeah, FAMU has hit some pretty big shots, and you know, we had a costly turnover. The game is changing as, as we get more involved in the game. We have to still maintain, we have to play defense. Coppin led 23-16. Florida A&M answers with a 14-6 run. So as Juan Dixon likes to say, they made their run. Hopefully that's the only one of the night. Rashawn Austin has checked in for the first time tonight for Florida A&M out of the media timeout. Inbound goes far side left. Three ball. Trey Thomas is good. He's got five in this opening half. And Coppin back on top, 32-30. You like to see that coming out of the timeout to execute the play as designed. So now top side, it's Mays. Near side left to Austin. Austin swings it far side to the right to Barham. Barham coming left to the free throw line. Turns, fires, rim it off. Rebound tracked down by Core. Top side left, Core dumps it down near side left to Williams. Williams to the free throw line, and the shot comes back iron, no. So now it's Davis on the run back, closing in on 90 seconds to go first half. Stops left of the lane, swings it down to the doorstep intended for Drummond. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Coppin State. Sed's going to check out, be replaced by Chad Andrews Fulton. It's important for us to execute when we're on the offensive end. We cannot afford to just throw the ball away. Every possession is important. So now Mays has it, swings it between the rings, now to Williams. Williams, back to Mays, and that's a traveling violation. Coach Dixon was all over it. Uh, that was a good call by the coach. Thirty-two thirty, Coppin State with the lead with 122 to go in the opening half. Drummond on the inbound now for Davis. Davis. Uses the slip screen from Andrews Fulton. Twice. Now to the head of the key. 19 to shoot. Now he goes for a third time. Left of Andrews Fulton. Andrews Fulton on the catch. Head of the key. Turns right. Keeps the bounce alive. Ball screen hand up to Thomas. 10 to shoot as we close out in a minute to go. And it's an illegal screen. Chad Andrews Fulton 
Got a hold of his guy and never let go. The officials have been consistent on calling that this year. They're not letting you get away with moving on that screen. Severino checks out. And it's going to be Miles rejoining the A&M lineup. Under a minute to go in this opening half. Coppin with a 32-30 lead on FAMU. Top side left. Thomas with it. Check that. Mays with it. As Thomas defends Core on the far side. Core in the catch. Thomas hedges him toward that corner. Ten to shoot. Now to Mays. Ball screen handoff. Back to Barham. Ball screen handoff. Back to Core with five. Down to four. Hesitation dribble. Runs in the lane. He traveled. Three second margin. Game and shot clock at 33 seconds. It's good pressure defense. Caused the created the turnover. That's a modified 1-3-1 one, one press right there. Mm -hmm. Davis into the forecourt. Left of the Andrews Fulton screen. 18 to shoot. Davis checks back in with Juan Dixon. Resets the offense. 12, 11 to shoot. Davis top side right defended by Mays. Andrews Fulton pops out ahead of the key. Davis goes right of the screen with six. Down to five. Backs it out with four. Coming left with three. Left of the lane. Fade away with two. It's on the way. Good. Karan Davis. Give him eight. The half court heave's going to go wide to the right. No good, even if it went, because the horn had sounded, time had run out, and the red light around the backboard had already lit up. At the break, it is Coppin State 34, Florida A&M 30. Thoughts on the opening half? You know what? We played well. We, we executed our offense. I like how I've been saying this uh, throughout the, the first half. I like the fact that we had points in the point. We did not rely on shooting the, three, the long, lengthy, long three-pointers all the time. So come out the second half and continue to execute and continue to play hard and get high percentage shots. We talked about the run A&M made, 14-6 to take their first lead at 30-29. Coppin answers and closes out the half on a 5-0 run to lead by four, 34-30 at the break. Stay tuned after the timeout. Sounds the opening half. That's next on the Coppin State Sports Network. Look at that mouth, that poor parched mouth. So dry. What did you eat for lunch, chalk dust? Did your face storm a sandcastle? Did your mouth cannonball into a barrel of mothballs? You're being awfully quiet. Is that because your mouth feels like the business end of a Dremel saw? Is it because your mouth just wrote a haiku and all 17 syllables were dry heaves? Do you even listen to your mouth? Because right now your mouth thinks its biological parents are a half sheet of 80 grit sandpaper and a box of fish food. You're so parched. You know it. I know it. The entire radio knows it. Just admit it. You want a Mountain Dew? Your mouth feels like it just inhaled the insides of a punching bag, and the only remedy is that neon green potion. Right now, your mouth could be tongue bathing in the refreshing citrus kick of Mountain Dew. Instead, it feels like you've been motorboating King Tut's sarcophagus. What was that? Is that your parched mouth crying for help or a porcupine making whoopee with a cardboard box? Wrong. It's your mouth. Show some mercy. Crack open an ice cold Mountain Dew. <sighs> you know your mouth wants you to. Do the do. Coppin State University means something different to everyone. Jason is a recent high school grad. Attending Coppin full-time, getting his four-year degree, preparing for a lucrative career. Kimberly took time off to start a family and now attends Coppin part-time and enjoys the affordability and supportive environment. Kazim wants to change careers and finds that Coppin provides the flexibility he needs to keep working while getting that second degree. Coppin State University, something different to everyone, something special for you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. Hey, you! Yeah, you, Mr. I'm 18 years old at the top of my game and I got everything to look forward to. Over here, I got a question for you. Did you register with Selective Service yet? No! Give me a break. All those big plans you got, all those big dreams, forget about it. College, forget about it. If you need student loans, job training, forget about it. Government jobs, forget about it. 
If you're an 18-year-old guy and you're not registered, you can't even get your driver's license renewed in most states. And you can't become a citizen. If
the half. Coppin State leads for the A&M 34-30. Todd Bartley joined by Athletic Director Derek Carter. Uh, we've checked in with our uh, marketing team and uh, game day operations staff in Ruff and Bell. And when you're an athletic director at a Division One institution, you, you can make executive decisions. Um, it, it didn't take long at all to, to, uh, to sign off on this from my standpoint. So we can share it with everybody on CompensateSports.com, on the live video stream, and on WNST AM 1570. Uh, we've made a free agent acquisition for the broadcast crew for the men's games, and I believe there are six more men's broadcasts after tonight, beginning with the three-game homestand Saturday the 20th, Saturday the 27th, and Monday the 29th against Morgan State, South Carolina State, Northern Eastern Shore, and then we'll get into February later on. But as, F as the athletic director, I'd, I'd defer to your good judgment to make that announcement. <laughs> Oh, you're going to put this one on me? Certainly. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll see. I'll accept the opportunity to join you with, with the broadcast as we do this, and, and we'll see how long you'll have me. You know, the competition is tough, and you may run across someone, and then, you know, I'm competitive by nature, so then it's going to be on, and we're going to have to see if I can maintain well, this. Well, you know. with the relationship that we've built over the last few years, that seat is yours as long as you want it. Well, thank you. Thank you. And anybody else that's going to occupy I, that going forward has a very high bar to meet. Well, we'll see. I'm enjoying it, though. It's, it's fun. It's, a, it's good to see the game and to stay involved in the game. You know, a lot of times when I'm watching the game, because of game operations, you may get distracted. And, and so this kind of gives me an excuse to really watch every play and, and, and really enjoy the game. So... We've had a good first half, and, and hopefully we can put together a strong second half. We could give you every number known to man in this opening half, which we'll get to the numbers in due course. However, there are other teams that are competing here at Coppin State in the winter months, a couple of whom are the uh, the track teams, if you will, and they have competition, I believe, this weekend upcoming. They do. Uh, our indoor season has really uh, started, and, you know, it's tough because the weather is so so cold and and of course we don't have the luxury of having uh, an indoor track facility so they have to be creative how they train and um, still they have to perform at a high level when we get into uh, competition against other institutions because what we're trying to do is position ourselves to uh, peak at uh, championships for the indoor season so track and field is going on and also bowling uh, our, our bowling team is getting ready to get back into their competition. Bowling is a unique unique sport because they start in the fall and end in the spring, so they kind of overlap in, similar to a basketball schedule, basketball season, but uh, we're excited about what we're doing with, with those two programs, and those students are working hard, and you know it's tough. You have the Christmas break and the, the winter break, but yet they have to still train, especially track and field. You just can't take a break. Um, and then they have to come back, and they have to be ready to perform. Bowling will have a little bit of time to work their way back into competitive uh, shape, if you will. If I recall, halftime of a game last year here at the PEC, you honored one of those track team members, I believe. We did. Uh, I don't. I gotta think about what was the accomplishment. I, I want to uh, say Ol Olympic trials or Team USA or something like that. Oh, you talk. I, we and we uh, certainly we honored um, Christina Epps, who is on my staff, uh, academic advisor. However, she was honored last year for her accomplishment of making the Olympic team and, and the triple jump. So Christina is has her eyes set on um, trying out for the Olympic team again, and and she's training hard, and and we wish her the best. We're going to support her. In every way possible, she's doing great for us in terms of assisting with our academic development of all of our student athletes, and she sets a great example. She's uh, competed obviously on a high level and graduated from Cop, and now she's working at Cop. So you got a guy coaching the men's basketball team who's put up a national championship banner in his playing days. You got an Olympian on the staff. Hey, I hey. mean, <laughs> we, we surround yourself, about it. surround ourselves with champions, and and. 
And there are so many experiences that, that, that they're able to share with our student athletes. And, you know, it's important that our student athletes are around people who are positive and who have been successful, uh, successful in their sport. But it's also in the classroom because as long as I'm sitting next to you, you're going to hear me talking about stressing academic excellence with all of our teams. We have to maintain the history that we've had at Coppin State to be sound in the classroom and continuously uh, improving in our particular sports. I do have to ask you this. We're just about to tip, tip off the second half. With the exit of Savannah State and Hampton leaving the league for two other different leagues, will the MEAC look to stay at 12, or will they begin to recruit two other teams to replace those two teams? Well, right now, no, there will be no additions, uh, but uh, time will tell, and, and we'll see what happens down the road. But we're just going to take those subtractions and c continue to move forward. On a year-to-year -year basis, or is it basically we're going to freeze it for two years? Year-to-year. Year-to-year. And... Um, Commissioner's working behind the scenes. I don't always know what, what's going on, but um, as it stands right now, it's going to uh, remain uh, minus these two institutions. All right, as it stands at the break, getting set for the second half, 34-30. Coppin State leads Florida A&M. Troy Ort to inbound now to Davis. Now in the second half on TV, Coppin will come left to right on radio. They're going opposite. Davis on the bounce, draws a double team, nearly poked away from behind. Morgan catching fire three up the right wing, rim and off. And the rebound comes down to Severino. Far side left, Mays. Trying to go around Drummond. Coming back to his left. Now Mays finds a cutter. That's Barham, line to the lane. Bounce it off to his left. Williams has it, fights it up from 10. Rim it off, Morgan the rebound. Shovels it off down to Davis. Had a fine first half, D.C. with eight points. He did. He's, he's our steady leader. Now the council, far side right, Morgan, thinking about that three. He was tempted, wasn't he? Bounce it off right side. Troy Orr backs it out to the right corner, 15 to shoot. Coming left of the lane, kicking out left corner. Drummond wants a three on the way. Good. Drummond's first three gives him five in the game, 37-30. Coppin, 8 nothing run, closing out the first half to start the second half. A minute plus gone by here in the second half. Mays on the catch. Coming to his left, left elbow, kicks it out, left side, three ball, back of the rim, no for Barham. Swings it off high right now to Williams. Williams hands it off to Severato. Severato coming back to his left, nearly walked. Kick out left side to Mays. He wants a three, it hit the left of the iron and fell flat. Troy Orr coming back on the run. To the doorstep, Council got caught under the basket, kicks it all the way back out to Davis. Davis comes right to the council screen, got caught in a double team along the far sideline, finds Treyor, trying to put it behind his back to find Morgan for three, instead picked off by Barham. Barham on the run back, going strong on council, and he lays it up and good. Makes it 37-32, Coppin State. That was a tough exchange right there. We lost one that we should have had and then gave them an easy layup. So now Davis on the bounce between the rings. Out of the double team. Bounce it off now to Treyor. Left side, kick out for Morgan for three. Good again, Lamar Morgan now with nine. The lead is eight, 40-32, 17-40 to go. Second half, Mays head of the key. Coming around the screen from Severado. Severado lost the handle. Morgan with Davis out in front. Got tripped up from behind and the whistle comes for the foul. And a timeout, Coppin State. And it's going to be a full timeout because it's the first call timeout in the second half. 17.31 to go in it. Coppin leads FAMU 40-32 back at 60 on the Coppin State Sports Network.
So out of the timeout called by Coppin State, 17-31 to go, second half. Eagles on top of the Rattlers, 40-32. Todd Bartley joined by the athletic director here at Coppin State, Derek Carter. And if you're just joining us, that's going to be an ongoing situation the rest of the home slate. And, oh, by the way, that road trip to the school across town. We always look forward to that trip, don't we? Yes, but it's later. They're coming to us first. Right. Off the inbound, Traor. Gave it up to Davis. Davis. Swings it back to Traor and out of Morgan. Back to Davis, and we're going the other way on a moving screen by Cedric Council. That's not what Coach Dixon wanted out of that timeout. Officials have been so consistent with calling that all year. That high ball screen. If you move them, they're going to call it. Maze the handle out of the forecourt in between the rings. Far side left. Now for Revenel. Head of the key now to Williams. He nearly walked. Top side right to Maze. 15 to shoot. Maze bounce off head of the key. Now for Barham. Barham. Hands it off to Severado. Six to shoot. It comes back right side to Barham, and he traveled with five to shoot. Hey, great job, Bird. Great job, boy. It's good defense. I kind of thought the, the official was going to bail him out. It's good defense, though. Yeah, anytime that whistle is blown, you almost think, oh, wait a minute. Which way is it going to go? Yeah. 16.45 to go. 40-32, Coppin State. Davis on the bounce. Now for Davis. Excuse me, back to... Traylor back to Davis, back to Traylor, right side now to Drummond, far side right corner now to Morgan, back to Traylor, hands it back to Morgan, deep three right side, back of the rim, no good, long rebound out to Barham, hands it off to trailing Mays, Mays to the forecourt, head of the key, stops, bounce it down, now for Williams, Williams is back to the basket, going to work on Traylor, back head of the key now to Mays, far side left out of Barham, head of the key now to Mays, 15 to shoot, Mays going left, defended by Davis, tried to spin back to his right, cut off, Williams with 10 to shoot. Top side right. He traveled. He forgot to put it on the floor. Our pressure defense has, has rattled them a little bit. Trey Thomas heading back to the scorer's table. He'll check in next dead ball, which should be the media timeout under 16 to go. Davis swings it far side. Trey on the catch. Right corner kick out. Now back to Davis. Back right side, Drummond feeling it. Once a three, back of the rim, no. Treyor went up the ladder, knocked it loose. Last touch by the Rattlers, out of bounds. 15.49 to go. It's Coppin State 40. Four to A&M, 32. Back after a 60-second time. I'm Fifteen forty-nine to go, second half. It's Coppin State 40, Florida A&M 32. Join with the athletic director here at Coppin State, Derek Carter. And this run from the time that Coppin led by 7, 23-16, at 14-6 answer by Florida A&M. Well, D.C. since then, 11-2 Coppin State. We've come out the second half and, and, and really, you know, found that spark that we needed. They've really been the aggressor since they the have. Test, haven't they? they sure have. Davis on the inbound. Auslander checked in out of the media timeout. Thomas as well on the catch. And we're going the other way on the council moving screen. That's his third. Andrews Fulton to the table. He'll check in. 
That is great game management by the, I believe, senior member of the officiating crew. Put the ball on his hip. Allowed Coppin State to make that substitution. I'm sure he'd gone the other way for FAMU, too. That's time and situation right there for the officials. They did a great job. Top side of the right, Williams on the catch. Goes baseline right, lost it on the way up. Last touched by Desmond Williams, out of bounds. Little score update from the little game going on in Atlanta tonight. Scoreless in the first quarter. Scoreless? Okay. We know an SEC team will win the national championship. Yes. Though, right? Again. And those Power 5 paychecks for playing in that particular game, don't, they're, don't, they're not going to be on the short end. Don't get me started. Andrews Fulton, head of the key, kicks it out left side. Thomas wants a three again. Rim, it rattled out. Rebound to Severado, hands it off to Mays. Coppin retains the eight-point lead, nearly five minutes gone, second half. Mays going right on Davis. Coming back to his left, faces at the elbow, rim and off. Oslander tapped it off the window. Thomas tried to track it down. Last man to touch it out of bounds. It'll stay with FAMU. Well, Chad was trying to sell that, trying to get the basketball from the official to try to inbound it for Coppin. The official says, no, it's orange ball. Yeah, I think they've seen that one before. Williams backs it out the free throw line. Once that jumper and rattles it home, Desmond Williams now with seven. 40-34, Coppin State, 14.50 to go. Davis coming across the time stripe, now to the forecourt, defended by Mays. Andrews Fulton sets that screen. Davis draws a double team. Right side, Auslander. Hands it off. Morgan, penetration to the right side. Gave it back to Auslander. Curls to his left. Line to the lane, and it's going to be a block or a charge. Charge on Auslander. That's his second. That was a close play, but it was a good call. You can't jump to pass. He had the right idea. So a six-point lead could be cut in half with a three by FAMU. Mays with it, lob it high. On the catch, Severado. Mays refeeds Williams on the near block. Coming across the lane, turns, fires back of the rim, no. And Andrews Fulton rips down the rebound. Now for Davis, quickly back the other way. Davis. With Andrews Fulton going to the lane, Andrews Fulton at the free throw line, receives the pass. Now backs it out with a right-hand dribble. Hands it off to Trey Thomas, coming to his left after a ball fake. Lobs it back to Andrews Fulton, 12 to shoot with a fadeaway, and it's good. Chad Andrews Fulton now with six. 42-34, Coppin State. Quick catch left side, Ravenel. Ravenel gave it back top side, left out of Mays. Cycle to the right to Barham. Barham coming to his left. Line, lane, fights it up. Rim, no, but a whistle. And what? Oh. Fouls on Chad Andrews Fulton. That's his second. It comes with 13.34 to go. Second half. Coppin leading Florida A&M. 42-34. First one's on the way and good. Barham now with nine. Makes it 42-35. Chad, stay on one. Second one's on the way. It lipped the rim and off. Keep it 42-35. Coppin State, 13-29 to go. Morgan leaves it to Davis. Davis coming across the time stripe. Now to the forecourt. Tried to use the Andrews Fulton screen. Does to his left. Reverse it right side. Now to Oslander. Coming to his left at the head of the key. Oh, he walked. Tried to come to a stop and dragged that pivot foot. He did. He, You know, he had in his mind what he wanted to do before he could really execute it. DC, there's an old hey, saying. Mind was able. To, <laughs> body was not willing. Body definitely wasn't willing. They're going to let him sit for a little bit. So Drummond's back in, replacing Oslander. Closing in on 13 minutes to go. Top side right to Mays. Mays on the bounce. Gave it up that of Barham. Barham takes it right of the lane. 
Swings it back top side left. Now to Mays. Mays goes left elbow jumper again and splashes it down. Mays now with nine in the game. 42-37. That was a tough shot. Five. Great defense in his face. It was a tough shot. But Davis he made it. Hands it off to Andrews Fulton. Andrews Fulton. A couple of dribbles with a left hand. Tried to hand it off to Davis and got bumped off by Barham trying to hedge to the head of the key. That's his first. Check that, his second. Drumming the inbound right beside us. Gets it into Davis. Top side left. Coming right at the Andrews Fulton screen. Draws that double team again. Morgan, head of the key. Swings it right side now for Thomas. Baseline penetration. Gave it up to Andrews Fulton. And he rocks it to the right hand. I like that. Make it 44-37. And on that dunk, the ball rolled all the way back out past the head of the key. So now it's Mays coming left to right with 12.15 to go. Topping up by 7, 44-37. Trey, Trey, load up, Trey. Mace headed the key. 18 to shoot. Trey, stay there. Top side right, and what do we got? I believe a hold. Yeah, it's on Morgan near the top of the key. Treyor is at the table. He is going to replace Andrews Fulton. Or, or is he? Morgan's coming off. He legs it with nine points and a foul. Mays lob it into Williams. Far side left now for Miles. Miles faces up. Now turns right at the head of the key. Gave it up right side. Barham wants at three. Rim it off. Tapped out far side. Last touch by the Rattlers. That brings us to the under 12 media timeout, which comes at 11.51 to go. Coppin State now leads Florida A&M 44-37. Back after a 60-second timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network. That court's out here at the PEC at Coppin State University. Homestanding Eagles, 44, FAMU, 37. Todd Bartley with athletic director Derek Carter. And those points in the paint. Still keep adding up, 20 to 6. That's what we want. You can check out all of the live video stream, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can get all those links at CoppinStateSports.com. So it's Traor off the inbound. He'll... Trigger it now for Davis. Davis into the floor court, left of the jump circle. Goes right side behind the arc. A ball screen hand off out of Drummond. Skip it near side left to Thomas. Trey faces up. Now backs it out with the right hand. Reverse it near side left. Trey or to the left corner. Drummond's three comes rimming off. Loose ball out to Williams. Williams on the run back. Lobbed it inside. Andrews Fulton picked it off. Now for Drummond, hands it off to Davis. That's great communication on the defensive end. It is. Andrews Fulton is playing a great game, really. He's, 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 he's involved defensively. Skip it far side right now to Drummond. Back to Davis, 15 to shoot. As we approach the 11-minute mark, second half. Davis, right side Drummond. Right corner kick to Trey Thomas. Backs it out to Davis, head of the key with seven. Near side left, Treyor goes line to the lane. Reverse it off to Davis. Left side penetration by Drummond with two down to one. They're not going to get one off. That extra pass to Treyor, and he got tied up. 
that was tough because they had the ball in position to where they could have gotten a shot. I don't think Adam was aware of the, the, how much time was on the shot clock. Now, the upside to that, they were being very unselfish. One extra pass, too many. Sometimes you can be too unselfish. Far side left. Miles with it. Lined in a lane. Bar him and he traveled. Our defense is creating problems for him. Notice how many times they're getting called for these travels. What's been great is the compaction in and around the lane mm -hmm. where they're denying everything in the painted area. They're willing to give up the three to A&M. They're not taking it. They're not taking it at all. Davis, now to Treyor, head of the key. The lead remains seven at 44-37, Coppin State. Davis nearly had it poked away. Treyor on the bounce, gave it up to Andrews Fulton. Glass and good. He's got 10, 46-37, that lead back to nine. Step up. Pull up on the way and good. Elijah Mays now with 11. Makes it 46-39. He seems to take a big shot every time they need it. Top side left Drummond. Trying to come around that screen. Andrews Fulton on the catch. Bounced it to the corner. Thomas got stuck on that right side behind the arc. And that brings Oslander back in the game. He'll replace Davis. Morgan's back as Drummond checks out. And Chad Andrews Fulton with that most recent field goal. Now with a new season high of eight points. He's at a season high. So now he's got 10, surpassing the previous high of 8. Yeah. He's playing well. 46-39, Coppin State with 9.45 to go. Head of the key, Williams on the catch, coming left to the screen. Right to the doorstep, contact and a foul. Count that basket. Trey Thomas with the foul, his first makes it 46-41 with a free throw coming. Williams now with nine, looking for ten. It's and amazing the free throw line. how a, a left-handed player can throw you like that, and, and you know it's like you line up on him, you don't realize he's left-handed, and he goes so strong to his left. We have to prevent that. He got the free throw. Give him ten. 46-42, and again, Fam you within four. Morgan draws the double team up the right side out of Trey or right of the lane, bounce it off to Andrews Fulton. Backs it out to Morgan. Step left three is on the way. Good. Morgan now with 12. His third three in the game. The lead is 7 at 49-42. Coppin State, 9-18 to go. Floater on the way from the right of the lane by Mays is good. Give him 13. Makes it a five-point lead at 49-44. Closing another nine-minute mark. Thomas swings it back to Morgan. Morgan gives it up to Treyor. Top side left to Thomas. Thomas comes back to the head of the key with 15 to shoot. Hesitation dribble left of the lane, draws contact on the shot attempt. It's swatted out of bounds. Picking up the foul is Miles, his second. DC, this is the critical juncture of the game. It's just ahead of the under eight media timeout, about a minute to go. Thomas at the free throw line. Back of the rim, no good. And this is the first free throw. We're up five, and this is critical. This is this stretch. Because we had a chance about two minutes ago to really expand the lead. Okay, he made the second one. So Trey's got six. The lead is six at 50-44. Need a stop here. 8.45 and counting as we approach it here in the second half. Williams spins left to right. Draws a ton of contact. Andrews Fulton with the clean block. Loose ball on the floor. Picked up there by Severino from a seated position. Got it back into the hands of Williams along the sideline. Threw it away. Picked off by Morgan. Morgan. Into the forecourt. Juan Dixon says, slow everything down. Let's get a good look. And, you know, we're, we're holding on to this lead with uh, Davis on the bench, too. So he'll get rest to be able to take us down the home stretch. Oslander from Morgan. Top side left, 12 to shoot. Kent facing up, comes back to his right to the head of the key. Now to Thomas, eight, down to seven, head of the key. Line to the lane, floater on the way, rim, it trickled off. Rebound to Severado, gave it up to Mays. Mays coming the other way, the far side official seemed like he got caught in traffic there, maybe limping a little bit. Barham, a deep three, front of the rim, no good. 
Rebound yanked down by Severino. Gave it up to a trailing Williams. Fights it up right of the rim. No. Troy Orr the rebound. Coppin's got numbers the other way. And now Troy Orr hesitates in the backcourt. Now to the forecourt. Hesitation dribble. Line to the lane. Right to the rack. Trying to ram it home. Hit the front iron. No good. Trying to fight it up through three different defenders. And did he walk is the question. Or was he fouled? They called it offensive foul. Through the elbow. Trey Orr with his third. The player control foul brings it to the under immediate timeout. 7.40 to go. It's Coppin State leading Florida A&M 50-44. Back after a 60-second timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network. So out of the media timeout, 7.40 to go, second half, 52, excuse me, 50 to 44. Six-point lead, Tom Bradley, Derek Carter, athletic director here at Coppin State. Points in the paint, 22 to 8. Points up turnovers, however. FAMU with a three-point yeah, advantage. Yeah. We've had some untimely turnovers for sure. So Davis is back along with Cedric Council Jr. out of the media timeout. Morgan most likely is going to have to tuck into Jersey out of that timeout. Officials didn't see it, so it remains untucked for the moment. 7.35 and counting. Left to right, here comes Mays. Top side of the right. Karan Davis trying to force him to his right. Core back in. Left side feed off, now headed to Keita Raveno. Top side right to Mays, 10 to shoot. Mays into traffic, floats one up, left of the rim and off. Andrews Fulton, a rebound. His sixth board of the night. So Davis the handle as we approach seven minutes to go. Feeds it left side to Morgan. Now feeds it high to Andrews Fulton, puts his back to the basket. Gave it back to Morgan, he wants a three. Right of the rim, no good. Severado with the rebound. Hands it off down to Mays. Mays to the four court, kicks it out left corner. Core. Muscles up a three and cashes it in. His first field goal, giving four total points. And we got a game now at 50 47. Coppin State, 6.40 to go. He hesitated like he really wasn't comfortable shooting that ball. Andrews Fulton on the catch from Davis, head of the key. Hands it off on a ball screen to Morgan, trying to go right. Defended by Mays, bouncing off the council, right of the lane. Turns around, picks up the bounce, gave it up to Oslander. It's out of bounds, far sideline. So now, FAMU with a three can tie this game. Drummond back on, and he will replace Chad Andrews Fulton. Far side inbounder will be core, bouncing into Mays. You mentioned it a moment ago, D.C., every time they've needed a must-make situation, it's been Elijah Mays. Mays has been a key key player for them when they call the timeout. And a timeout, Severino with 6.17 to go. Coppin leads FAMU 50-47 with the 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Just 33 days remain until Coppin State's 2018 homecoming on Saturday, February 17th, which means where is 2018 going, by the way, so fast? Visit coppin.edu backslash homecoming to purchase tickets for all of your homecoming activities that weekend. And keep in mind, when you come here to the PEC, VIP floor seating with reserve parking and hospitality access still available for each home game, Visit the box office or CoppinStateSports.com to get your tickets today. We're looking forward to homecoming. It's always a great time for us. Now closing out this final 6-17, Coppin already at 17 fouls. 
So FAMU is just three away from the double bonus. FAMU at three team fouls has plenty of fouls to give. How about Karan Davis making these starts? Running the show. Well, he's got a defensive assignment right now. They're going to match up Auslander, head of the key. Yeah, win his own, win on. Extended 3 2? Or? Yeah, 1 2 2. Extended 3 2. 13 to shoot. It comes back to Mays, top side right. He'll come back to his left at the head of the key. Bounce it back to Ravenel. Back to Core, 5 to shoot. Kick out left side. Ravenel forced up a 3 left of the rim and off. Rebound to Drummond. Now for Davis into the forecourt. Davis right side coming to his left. Bounced it off to Sen. Lost it off his knee and out of bounds. They got a perfect look and he was wide open on the far side of the lane. That comes with 5.47 to go. Coppin leads FAMU by three. 50-47. Now in the march. Mays with it in between the rings. Very content to nurse this shot clock down, D.C., under 20 seconds. Yeah, because they have the ball in the hands of who they, they want it, Mays. Bounce it off down to Core with 11 to shoot. Hands it back to Mays. Mays headed the key with seven. Down to six. Gave it up to Core. A three to tie. Comes left rim and off. Rebound to Drummond with 5.17 to go. Let's see if we can execute on this possession here. Right to the doorstep, Morgan. We got a blocking foul called against Florida A&M. And I believe it's going to be on Core. That's his first. We got lucky on that possession now. He tried to take the charge. Yeah. And Morgan, shaken up on the play, will now limp to the free throw line, favoring his right leg. Now there's the great look you get from the high angle at the free throw line. And I got a feeling when you see our midcourt stripe look there, you may get a great look at Lamar Morgan at this free throw line. He cans that free throw. Give him 13. 51-47 extends it to a two-possession lead. If he makes his second free throw, his knee will feel a lot better, too. And there's the great look I was talking about. Takes you right down on the floor. Second one, rim and good. Morgan now with 14. 52-47, Coppin by five, closing in on five to go. This is a critical next 60 seconds. Williams with it. Hands it off on a ball screen to Mays. Mays swings it inside. Loose ball deflected. It's going to be Davis with the handle. Now to the forecourt. Left of the jump circle. Goes right of the screen from Morgan. Davis picked up the bounce. Now to Morgan. Left side three on the way. Back iron no good. Oh, that would have been huge. Rebound to Barham. Quickly up the left side of the floor. Now to Ravenel. Back between the rings to Barham. Hesitation dribble, line to the lane, goes strong on said rim, no, but a whistle and a foul on Cedric Council Jr. That, I believe, is his fourth. Eighth on Coppin as a team here in the second half, comes with 4.28 to go. It brings Chad Andrews Fulton back to the scorer's table. Barham at the free throw line, knocks it down. Give him double figures with 10, make it 52-48. I think Coach wanted to get uh, Andrews Fulton back in the game anyway for this last four-and-a-half-minute stretch. Oslander checks out. Trey Thomas replaces him. Barham's free throw on the way in good. Marcus Barham now with 11. 52-49. Coppin again by three, closing in on 420 and counting. Davis coming across the time stripe. Down to the forecourt. Defended by Mays. Ball screen hand off to Drummond. Drummond in between the rings. Swings it far side of the right. Trey Thomas on the catch. 13 to shoot. Coming around the Andrews Fulton screen. Hesitation dribble. Lined in the lane. Got there. Glass no good. A lot of contact. No call. Severino the rebound. Now to Mays. A three to tie on this trip for FAMU. It's out of the hand of Barham. Rim it off. Rebound to Williams. Kicks it back out to Mays. He wants the three to tie and does exactly that with 3.51 to go. Mays is definitely their clutch player. 
He stepped up a few times now. He's got 16. Deadlocked at 52, 340 to go, 18 to shoot. Davis, an answer, three for the lead. Left of the rim and off. Rebound to Ravenel. Now for Mays. Right side out of Barham. Barham. Bounce it down, near block, turning right as Williams. Fights it off the side of the window, no. Got his own miss back, count it, and a foul. Desmond Williams now with 12. 54-52, FAMU back on top. And a timeout on the floor comes with 3.24 to go. FAMU with a free throw coming when we come back after a 60-second timeout of the Coppin State Sports Network. Three twenty-four to go. Free throw coming for FAMU as they have a 54-52 lead. Top Riley joined by the athletic director of Coppin State, Derek Carter. It's a 12-3 Florida AM run after Coppin State had a 49-42 lead. You know, we knew the run was coming. And now we're at the point it's three three twenty-four remaining. We're down two, so it's up to us now. We're going to have to get stops on defense, and we're going to have to execute offensively. Would you concur that the first look needs to be to the doorstep? Those zero footers that you like? You know what? It happens in the shots. Because at this point, either you're going to get the shot or you're going to get fouled. And we have to make our free throws. So Williams with 12. We'll step in at the free throw line. Looking for 13 and a three-point lead. 324 to go. It's on the way, rim it off, rebound to Morgan. So keep it 54-52. FAMU with the lead. Thomas hands it off to Davis. Back to Drummond between the rings. He's defended by Barham. Top side of the right to Davis. Karan goes right of the lane. Got cut off, picked up the dribble. Shovels it down to the doorstep. A spinning attempt by Morgan came, rim it off. Rebound to Mays. Up the right side out of Barham. Barham runs in the lane, right to the rack. He goes, and he's fouled on the way up. That comes with 2.55 to go. Fouls on Morgan. That's his second. We went to the hole, did not get the foul. They went aggressively, and they got the foul. Barm at the free throw line, puts it on the way and good. So that makes it a full one possession lead at 55-52 at 2.55 remaining. Second one's on the way, got them both. Barm now with 13. It's a 14-3. Rattlers run at 56-52. Trey Thomas now runs the show. Into the floor, court across the time stripe, hands it off to Davis. Davis on the bounce, head of the key, puts his nose down, turns left of the lane, and a blocking foul called on Elijah Mays. That'll be his second. It comes with 2.39 to go. Oslander back to the table. He'll check in in between free throws. That was a good job by Davis to go to, go to the basket and get fouled. He has been held scoreless in the second half. I know. At least slows the clock down on us, and, and we can make these free throws. First one's on the way, and it's good. Davis now with nine. Makes it 56-53, Florida A&M.
Second one on the way. Rattled the rim and dropped in. Karan Davis now with 10. 56-54. Florida A&M. 235 to go. Coppin needs a stop. Mays into the forecourt. Far side left. On the catch, it's Ravenel. Back between the rings. Now to the head of the key. Williams feeds it back to Mays. 15 to shoot. Back head of the key. Penetration by Barham. Blocked by Andrews Fulton. 2.15 to go on the run back. Here comes Drummond. Coppin trails by two. Drummond, hesitation dribble right to the rack. He's blocked from behind, and I believe it's on Severito. It would be his third. Check that. Barham with his third. That was a good play by Drummond. Went strong to the basket again. He got fouled. Clock stops. We have to make our free throws. They're calling that a baseline out of bounds play. Oh, wow. I don't know how they see that. We have a monitor if they want to check. <laughs> Corey does a great job of the replay. So 2.08 to go. Coppin trails 56-54 to FAMU. Davis looking to inbound. And did he not get it in? He didn't. Five count. It's a turnover by Coppin State. And now the Eagles will match up in a press. Somebody needs to find somebody in orange. So everybody has matched up defensively. The bounce comes in to Ravenel. Ravenel reverse it off now for Severedo, and he called timeout. So with 2.02 to go, it's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Travel in confidence and enjoy the comfort of spacious studio accommodations at the Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, less than 10 miles from downtown Baltimore. Your home away from home is waiting for you. That's the Town Place Suites, Baltimore, BWI Airport, the official airport hotel of Coppin State Athletics. So 2.02 to go. Coppin over the limit of 10 team fouls. Fam, you will put Coppin at the free throw line on their next one. That'll be their seventh. Inbound will come from... What do you say, D.C.? Not quite half court, but three-quarter court. Not quite half court. Severino opposite us at the scorer's table. Little two-man game, and he pitches it ahead. Now for Williams, and they just did beat that 10 count. Mays on the handle, right of the jump circle. Shot clock to 10, 145 to go. Mays on the bounce, defended by Drummond. Goes far side left, a three ball, rimming off for Parham. Rebound to Drummond. 95 seconds to go, Coppin down by two. Davis the handle, head of the key. Hesitation dribble, line to the lane, runs it up, and he got fouled. That entire trip. He had Ravenel on his heels. That's his third. You can tell he wants the ball in his hands. That's a lot of experience. You're talking about a, a, a fifth-year grad student who's been here before. So Davis at the free throw line. Puts the first one on the way and good. And he knows He's going to get contact, and he also knows he's going to the free throw line. He's not afraid to shoot the free throw. Not afraid at all. That's what he's trying to do is create contact. And he's saying to himself he's either going to score or he's going to get fouled. Second free throw is on the way. Raymond popped out. 56-55, A&M by one, 85 seconds to go. Barham swings it off head of the key now to Severino. Severino back between the rings down to Mays. Far side left to Barham. 17 to shoot. Back head of the key to Mays. Approaching 10 to shoot. 1-4 flat is what the set looks like. Ball screen handoff comes back to Ravenel. 5 to shoot. Right side Mays. Head fake and a shot fake going left. Pumped off by Davis. Loose ball on the floor. And it's going to be a shot clock violation against a and That's the type of defense you want to see with under a minute. 
Kind of surprised they called the shot clock violation. The ball had changed hands. 57 and a half seconds to go. Florida a and leads Coppin State 56-55. Davis on the bounce into the jump circle. Turns right to the head of the key. Hesitation dribble right of the lane. Fights it up and it was blocked and then out of bounds with the ball. I believe it was Mays and a timeout on the floor with 18 to shoot. 44.6 to go. And we'll take 30 seconds of the full timeout with the Eagles. This is the Coppin State Sports Network. Florida A&M leads Coppin State. 44.6 to go in regulation. Todd Barley, the athletic director, Derek Carter here at Coppin State. Well, we talked about zero footers all night long. Is that what Juan Dixon's drawn up right now is to get a zero footer with less than a minute to go? I believe so. Uh, We've done well with high percentage shots. Uh, Coming out of the timeouts, we have executed fairly well. So I would expect Coach to draw something up that gives us a chance at either getting a great shot or getting fouled and going to the free throw line to stop the clock. I heard the name Chad. So my question is going to be, is he getting it on the pick and roll, being the screener in that set? I would imagine so. We'll, we'll probably do something to, to have um, him setting a pick. And again, Coppin over the limit of 10 team fouls. FAMU at 7. 18 to shoot. Davis to inbound, defended by Mays. He looks, looks, gets it into Andrews Fulton right of the lane. Hands it off to Davis. Curling left in the lane. Fights one up the left hand. Got it. Karan Davis now with 13. That's what we needed. 57-56. Coppin back on top. 35 seconds to go. Mays, left side to Parham. Parham draws a double team. Reverse it off to Mays. 17 to shoot. Mays between the rings. Defended by Davis. Davis clapping his hands. Mays with 12 to shoot. Hands it off to Williams and a timeout. Florida A&M with 10 on the shot clock. 19 to go in the game. And we'll keep it here with the timeout on the floor. We talked about that coming out of the timeout. We executed well. Got a great shot. Now it's about defense. So with 10 to shoot, 19 to go, the two hot hands lately have been Mays, who's got 16, including a three-point field goal for his last field goal. Barham's last five points have been at the line, and then Williams a two-point field goal for his last trip. Revenal also has been held scoreless in the second half. So there's four different options for you if they actually return to the floor, which, of course, I'm thinking they're going to go to Mays. I absolutely think they're going to go to Mays. Mays has been the one making key buckets for them the entire night. And if I promise you they'll have it in his hands. He'll create. If he doesn't shoot it, he'll create. So the question becomes, is he going to be the inbounder and then get it back on a ball screen handoff, or do they allow somebody else to inbound it and then put it in his hands? He's active and quick enough. I think they will have someone else inbound the ball and uh, just get the ball in his hands. And, D.C., the last time defensively, Karan Davis was on him like Gary Payton used to be the The glove. glove. (laughs) Mays is a tough player. You can kind of see it that this is what he, he lives for. We were both wrong. He's inbounded. Yeah, I think he's going to get it on a ball screen handoff. Mm -hmm. From Williams, who's right in front of him. Davis will match up on him man for man. Inbound comes from the end of the scorer's table near the FAMU bench. Mays looks, gets it in. Barham trying to come left, turns right. Seven to shoot, launches a three. Back of the rim, no. Rebound into the hands of Auslander, and he's fouled with 11.3 to go. 
one and the bonus after the foul. So Oslander will step in. The foul was assessed on Severado. It's his third. Oslander puts that free throw on the way back of the rim. No good. Keep it a one-point cop and lead. 57-56. They have to get a stop. Barnum left in the lane. Spins to his right. Lost the handle. We got a whistle and a foul. Ooh, that's a tough call. It's on Chad Andrews Fulton. His third. It comes with 4.4 to go. Coppin's got a one-point lead with 4.4 to go at 57-56. Barham stepping in at the free throw line. He's got two free throws coming because Coppin's over the limit. First one's on the way. Good. Barham with 14. Deadlocks is at 57. Council Jr. is going to check in and replace Oslander. Coppin's telling the official, make or miss. Coppin wants a timeout. Second free throw, rim it off. Rebound, Andrew Fulton, and a timeout. Coppin State with 3.5 to go. Okay. So the game is tied for the fifth time, now at 57, and the Eagles with a chance to win it on a make. And they'll go to the monitor to verify the time when the timeout was called on the rebound. So what Corey's doing right now for the fans on radio and on our TV replay, they're going to sync the clock with the video. Four point four is when the free throw attempt was taken. So, how much time under four point four is going to be the question? Is it above three point five, or will it stay at three point five? That is the question of the night. So the monitor on the free throw shot. And again, this is just all part of the process. The frame is just above the backboard. Well, the shot clock's well above that backboard, DC. So the clock angle is backed out. So now they go down to Steve Kramer to double check. And they're going to go four even. Seconds, so half a yeah. second's going to go back up there. I was curious if he was going to split the difference. Yeah. Half a second. So the officials have now relinquished the monitor. Back to the broadcast crew. <laughs> Davis to inbound from the length of the floor. It's at point .4 instead of 4.0. There's zero, and now they're going to put four seconds. Four seconds. There you go. Davis with Andrews Fulton and Thomas in the backcourt. Drummond in a corner along with Morgan. Inbound comes Andrews Fulton. Shovels it back to Davis across the time stripe. Down to two, down to one, got it away. Glass no good. We're going to overtime. Coppin State and Florida A&M head to overtime here at the PEC. Deadlocked at 57 on the Coppin State Sports Network.
So my partner Derek Carter said, I, I'll join you tonight. Okay. Well, the bucket list just got checked off, uh, but not so fast, my friend. Overtime. Deadlocked at 57. Five yeah. new minutes go up on that clock. I know, and, and, and that's a gift for me. I've, I've been wanting to do this for, for a very long time, and I get overtime on my first time as well. So, hey, I'll take it. That streak, if it continues, <laughs> overtime every game, my goodness. So we'll jump it up one more time. Start of the first overtime between Coppin State and Florida A&M. You have five. Severado and Andrews Fulton to get us going. By the way, Tron Davis got a nice look there at the end of regulation. He did. He did. It was it was fairly well executed play. That was an awkward tip. It's going to be controlled by Florida A&M. Mays with it on TV. They're coming right to left on radio. It's opposite. Backside feet to the doorstep. Rim it off for Borum. Davis with it. He'll now come across the time stripe into the floor court. Rebounding edge to Florida A&M 31-30 at the end of regulation. 2017 turnover. A&M to Coppin. Davis left in a lane. Had it stripped on the way up by Mays. Mays coming back into the floor court. Left side to Borum. Back to Mays. Swings it off right side, not a core. Back to Mays. Swings it to Barham. Left of the lane, now to Williams. Williams with 13 to shoot. Turns right, fires it up to the left, and drained it. Williams now with 14. And Florida A&M takes a 59-57 overtime lead. Fifth lead change of the game to go along with five ties. Davis, now to Morgan. Morgan to Chad Andrews Fulton to the doorstep. Got a defender off his feet, and Williams picks up the foul. He did a good job feeling that guy behind him. It's his first. Oslander's coming to the table. With Andrews Fulton stepping in at the free throw line. Free throws on the way. It's good. Andrews Fulton now with 11. 59-58. FAMU. Core checks out. They'll bring Ravenall back with eight points all in the first half. Second attempt. Back of the rim. No. Severino tracks down that loose ball. Gave it up to Mays. Throws out of the double team now for Ravenel. Ravenel up the left side now to Williams. Williams gallops to the lane. Left it short. Chad knocked it loose. Now to the hands of Oslander. Now to Davis. Karan to the forecourt. Hesitation dribble. Lined lane. Ducks in. Glass rim. No, but a whistle and a foul. It's on Mays, his third. So it puts Karan Davis at the line. Now both teams over the limit. Two free throws every time there's a foul. He's doing a good job creating uh, contact as he's going to the basket. Davis at the free throw line. Puts the first one on the way. Back of the rim, no good. He has to take his time and make his free throws now. You're a little more tired now, and, and this is when it's a mental thing. You have to concentrate. Second one's on the way. Rim, glass, good. Good job. Davis now with 14, ties the game at 59. Up the floor. Williams with it, right to the doorstep. Threw it off the window, no. Tap follow, rim and good for Severado. His first field goal since the first half. Give him 5, 61-59. Bam, you back on top. 3.14 to go. Drummond on the march, now the floor court. Andrews Fulton wants that ball high right. Catches, faces up. 15 to shoot. Davis popped out head of the key. Fulton dribbles left. Picked up the bounce. Now to Oslander with 10. Coming to his right. Reverse it off to Andrews Fulton, and he threw it out of bounds. Hey, let's go, let's 2.54 go. to go. FAMU leads Coppin, 61-59. Severino defended by Morgan. Lobs it in. Tough catch there for Barham. Barham on the bounce, defended by Morgan. Coming to the jump circle. Hands it off to Mays. Mays orbits back toward the jump circle. Now calls the play. 
Top side of the right to Borum. Borum and then Davis fouled Williams. That's Karan's first. They had the mismatch that they wanted. So with 2.39 to go, Fam, you with a chance to put two more on the board with time stopped. Williams' free throw is on the way good. He's got 15. 62-59 for A&M. Oslander and Drummond check out. Zed, you got zero on defense. Trey, you got 21. Williams now handing out the defensive assignments as well to his teammates. Second one, rim and good. Williams now with 16. 63-59. A&M leads by four, 2.39 to go. Thomas with the handle. Defended by Rabineau. Bounce it off the council, and he's fouled. Williams, I believe, has assessed his second. So now, again, D.C., every foul is two free throws. So now council is going to step in at the free throw line. Yeah, we're getting our chance to score with no time going off the clock. So it's critical that we relax, take our time, make our free throws. First one's good. In regulation, both teams identical. 12 out of 18 at the line. Council makes it 63-60. FAMU with a second one on the way. Good again. Sed's got nine. 63-61. Rattlers under two and a half to go. Mays the handle. Now to the forecourt. Top side right. Defended by Davis. Bounce it down, weak side block. Williams backs his way in, deflected by Council, out of bounds with 18 to shoot. Davis from the baseline defends. Inbounder is Mays, lobs it in, tough catch there for Barham. Between the rings now to Williams, 13 to shoot. Williams. Trying to go left, got caught in traffic, and now a whistle and a traveling violation is called. And Coach McCollum wanted a foul there on the contact. Drummond checks out. Trey Thomas checks back in for Coppin State. Drummond did a good job. He, he was very aggressive on his defense. Council to inbound, gets it into Davis. Closing in on two minutes to go in overtime. 63-61, FAMU leads Coppin State. Council to Thomas. Thomas back to Davis. Davis on the right side. Now for Morgan. Morgan hands it off to Andrews Fulton. Ball screen hand off to Morgan. Bounce it back to Andrews Fulton. Right to the rack. He got hit on the way up. He was going up the rocket with both hands and got clobbered. Great two-man basketball with Morgan and... Um, Andrews Fulton. Severado picks up number four. Andrews Fulton steps into the free throw line. 11 points in this game. Puts it on the way and good. He's got 12. Coppin within one. It's 63 62, 151 to go in overtime. Second one, good, and we are tied at 63. Great job making our free throws. Mays, now to the forecourt, defended by Davis. On the bounce, goes left to right, kick it out right corner. And now backing it out will be Ravenel. Back to Mays, 15 to shoot, closing it on 90 seconds to go in overtime. Mays going left, ball screen hand up the bar, he fumbled it. Goes left of the lane, pull up on the way, partially blocked on the way up Rebound. by Morgan. Davis on the run out, coming back in a three on three. Right to the rack, rim no. Loose ball and we got a whistle, we're going the other way. Somebody was over the back. And I believe it's on council. And Davis has a cramp, he just locked up on the baseline. One red over the back it, it, is the call. Down. It's on Severado, it's his fifth. I think he went over the back of Council. 
That comes with 75 seconds to go in overtime. Severino fouls out with five points. Laurent Davis has a cramp. Yeah, that's not comfortable at all. And there's a great look from the baseline camera. When that calf locks up, it's not real kind. No, that's one of the most painful things you can experience. And the thing about it, you stand up, it could come back so quickly. The official that made the call on the over-the-back call was correct. He's kind of chiding the Coppin State bench going, I had it right. I don't know what you're screaming about. Mm -hmm. Something about competition brings no, that I, out of people? I, I know, I know. But I thought he saw the right call. So now Karan Davis will come off. Andrews Fulton will go to the free throw line. And I'll be honest with you, you have an overtime game deadlocked at 63. You can't grab at the officials. You better not. Because you can't, can't do it. You can't, you, can't you, can't afford, do it. you can't afford to have uh, uh, a mishap. Good free throw. Andrews Fulton gives Coppin the lead back, 64-63. 1.15 go. In overtime, second one good again. Andrews Fulton now with 15. 65-63, Coppin State. 73 seconds to go in overtime. Mays. Top side left, spins back from the elbow between the rings. Closing in on a minute to go in overtime. Lobs it back between the rings now for Miles. Top side right to Mays. Under a minute to go, 10 to shoot. Head of the key, bomb, and we got a whistle, and what now? 54.6 to go, Morgan picked up his third. So now, fam, you a chance to tie with under a minute to go in overtime. I, I didn't see that contact. It looked like a quick whistle. Barham eyes down the rim and splashes that free throw. His first overtime point, give him 15 in the game. 65-64. He and Chad Andrews Fulton. Five free throws in a row. In fact, seven in a row for Barham at the line. Rim, it rattled home, and Barham with 16 ties us at 65. 50 seconds and counting in overtime. Drummond into the floor court, defended by Core. Goes line, lane, fights it up, glass and good. Drummond now with seven. 67-65, Coppin, fam, you in a hurry. Mays with 35 seconds to go. Dumps it down to Williams. Williams turning left, and a traveling violation on Desmond Williams trying to jump stop to his left. Seven-tenths is the differential. Game and shot clock. Timeout, fam, you. We'll take it with him. Coppin State leads Florida a and 67-65. Back at 30 seconds on the Coppin State Sports Network. One correction, Coppin State took that timeout, not FAMU. Scoreboard reflects that, by the way. So now it's going to be Morgan from the baseline to inbound with 30.7 to go and a two-point Eagles lead. Morgan looking, looking. Andrews Fulton receives the inbound, hands it back to Morgan under the basket, threw it to Andrews Fulton at the free throw line, stolen away, picked off by Core. Mays with a floater, it's on the way and good. Wow. Mays with 18, ties the game at 67. Inbound to Thomas, 20 seconds to go. Thomas lobs it to Drummond. Drummond uncontested into the forecourt, 13 seconds to go. Drummond in a jump circle. They're clearing everything out for Drummond to go one-on-one. -on -one. Fulton pops out ahead of the key, five to go. Drummond kick out to Thomas, a three. 
on the way. Back of the rim, no. Andrews Fulton stick that foul. Oh, rim, no. Oh, it will go to a second overtime. Tied at 67. What a couple of great looks down the stretch, and nothing would fall. Had the look and had the follow-up. But how about Elijah Mays again going strong to get the tying goal to force a second overtime? Mays has made some clutch shots tonight. He, he's kind of demonstrated a, a lot of... Uh, coolness and, and pressure under pressure let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Coppin State Sports Network Court out at the PEC here at Coppin State Todd Bartley with the athletic director Derek Carter here at Coppin State I'm gonna blame you boss you wanted to check it off on the bucket list, and you got double overtime in the overtime. debut. I really thought uh, we were going to be able to follow, at least follow up that shot and, and get the get the put back. Anything you want but, to do to the rims after tonight's game? We'll I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we loosen them or tighten them. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. We're going to have to bring in. You know, they're specialists for everything, so we'll, we'll bring in a specialist and figure something out on these rims. I mean, that had everything except the English it, on it. It sure did. My goodness. It sure did. So now confident the line, 20 of 28 for the game. Florida A&M, 16 of 22. Rebound margin, 35-33 to Coppin. Turnovers, 22-20 A&M. Another five minutes go up there. Davis is back on the floor after suffering that calf cramp late in the first overtime. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he holds up for this next five minutes. Chad Andrews Fulton, for the third time tonight, will go into the jump circle. Actually, make it said, pardon me. Council's going to go in there along with Desmond Williams. Severado has fouled out with five points in this game. A minute 15 to go in overtime is when he fouled out. Tip controlled by the Eagles. Karan Davis tracks it down. On TV, they're bringing it left to right. Davis into the forecourt. Right side with the handle. Andrews Fulton pops out ahead of the key. Morgan came back for the ball. And now it's Morgan top side left. 13 to shoot. Morgan jacks up a deep three. Rim off. And it's going to be Andrews Fulton scoring on the follow. Give him 17. Coppin back on top. 69-67. Is he playing a game tonight or what? New career high yeah. and then some. Very active. And Mace both ends. With 18, including the overtime tying field goal, he'll get it back on a refeed from Williams. 13 to shoot. Kick out left corner. Three ball on the way. Rim it off for Ravenel. Rebound to Davis. 4-10 to go in overtime number two. Davis head of the key. Coming left. Backs it out left wing behind the arc. Now Davis on the bounce, steps in for three, rim it rattle out. Rebound came down to Miles. He leaves it for Mays. Mays, line, lane, kicked it out, deep three left side for Barham, and it's good. Barham now with 19. That's his first field goal since early stages, second half. Yeah, he's been quiet, but he stepped up and shot that ball with a lot of confidence. Tenth lead change gives AM a 70-69 lead with 3.35 to go. In the second overtime, bounce off the council, up and scores with the right hand. He's got 11. Great pass, great pass by Davis. 71-70, Coppin State by one. Top side, Barham gave it up high left. Williams on the gallop, glass rim, no good, and we got a foul. Davis again, I believe, wants fluids, and that cramp kicked in again. Council has just fouled out. Three sixteen to go. Overtime number two. Trey Thomas will replace him in the Coppin State lineup. Okay. 
So now Oslander's also going to check in because Davis has come off the floor, replaced by Trey Thomas with the cramp locking up again. So now Miles will step in. Seventy-one, seventy. Top and state by one. First free throw on the way. It's good. That's Miles' first offensive contribution. He deadlocks the game. DC at seventy-one. I was going to say I hadn't seen much of him the entire game, and now stepping up with poise. Three sixteen to go. Second one's on the way. Back iron, no. So we okay. stay tied at seventy-one. On the bounce, Trey Thomas the handle. Lob to the top. Andrews Fulton goes up and gets it. Faces up on Miles. Tries to take him right. Ball screen handoff to Morgan. Off his body, he gathers head of the key. Back to Andrews Fulton, 13 to shoot. Tried to hand it back to Morgan. Andrews Fulton gives it up to Morgan. Eight to shoot. Morgan going right with seven. Down to six. Left side, Drummond. Attacks with five. Fires it up from 15 and drained it. Andrews Fulton got dumped in the lane. Drummond now with nine. Topping back on top, 73-71. 2.39 to go, second overtime. Williams facing up on Oslander. Hands it off to a curling bar, 15-foot rainbow. Rim it off. Loose ball tapped out. Morgan had it and keeps it. Bounce ahead to Thomas. Trey goes strong with the right hand. Rim it stays in. Thomas now with eight. Copping up 75-71. 2.18 to go. See if we can get a stop on this possession. Mays, head of the key. Bouncing off high left now for Miles. Miles coming back between the rings. Gives it back to Mays. 12 to shoot as we approach two to go. Head of the key now, Williams. Gives it back left side to Barham. And a traveling violation as Barham tried to bounce it back to Miles. Coppin leads FAMU 75-71, 156 to go in double overtime. Oslander on the inbound now to Drummond. Drummond on the bounce. Got a great screen from Oslander in the backcourt. Now picked up the dribble. Gives it up right side to Thomas. 17 to shoot. Trey coming to his left. Now backs it out. Right of the jump circle. Thomas coming to the head of the key. 10 to shoot. Bounce it out left corner. Drummond feeling it. One to three. Side of the window. No good. Miles bouncing ahead now to Mays. Mays quickly up the left side to Williams. Goes right to the doorstep and scores. He's got 18. 75-73. Coppin by two. 82 seconds to go in double overtime. And FAMU takes time. Got an injury. Well, with an injury timeout, I believe. Or it was a, indeed, called timeout. Auslander's ankle. He rolled his ankle. So they keep everybody near the benches. With the injury time on the floor, 82 seconds to go, double overtime. 75-73, Coppin State leads Florida A&M. Last minute All right, so now the instruction has come from the lead official as Oslander's going to try to walk off this rolled ankle. All of the shots by the camera crew are now going to feature the entirety of the clock above the baskets. Yeah, they're going to have to because as we come down this stretch, it's critical to know to be able to see the clock. Lucian Brownlee's going to check back in for Coppin State. He has not seen time in quite some time. The officials trying to bring everybody back to the floor to get it going again. Drummond will be the inbounder from the far end of the floor. So now they're going to switch Brownlee to be the inbounder. Drummond will now come back toward half court. Andrews, Fulton, and Morgan already in the forecourt. Brownlee on the give and go from Drummond has the handle. 75 seconds to go. Double overtime. Coppin leads by two. Deflected in the forecourt. Taken right to the rack. And scoring with the left hand is Miles. He now has three. We're tied again at 75. Thomas the handle as we close in on a minute to go in double overtime. Thomas around the Andrews Fulton screen. Goes high right. Now head of the key. Free throw line face up by Thomas and it's good. Trey Thomas with 10. 
77-75, Coppin by two. 45 seconds in counting. Elijah Mays with an approaching head of the key. Defended by Brownlee. Spins left to right. Brownlee gave him no space at all. 15 to shoot. Mays to the free throw line. Kicks it out right side. Three ball for Ravenel. It's good. Ravenel now at 11. 78-77. FAMU by one. A second and a half differential. Game and shot clock. Thomas in the forecourt. Around the Andrews Fulton screen. Right side behind the arc. Defended by Miles. Back between the rings to Drummond. 15 to shoot. Drummond, line, lane, dumps it off to Andrews Fulton, yes. and a right-hand score. Give him 19. Time to defend. 79, 78, Coppin by one. Five seconds to go in double overtime. Williams ran into traffic. Jump ball. Keep it with FAMU with 3.2 to go. And a timeout, Florida A&M, and they're going to check the clock for good measure. Under five seconds remaining when we come back after a 30-second timeout of the Coppin State Sports Network. Currently, 3.2 remains on the game clock in double overtime. For the first time in this game, Coppin will make a substitution and bring in Jordan Hardwick. They want to use his length on this inbound to prevent it on the possession of the night for both teams. It remains, I believe, at 3.2. We want Jordan to be big, long. Inbounder is Mays. Mays to the baseline, lobs it in. Williams on the catch, fires it up on the way. Rim no, and that's going to do it. Coppin State defeats Florida A&M. 79, 78 in double overtime, and the streak is over. What a game. In that process, Juan Dixon picks up win number one as the Coppin State men's basketball coach. He's not going to want you to leave now. Uh, no, no, but look, who said it was going to be easy? What a game. I'm, I, I'm happy. I'm happy for him and for the players. This has been a, a trying time just trying to get that, that one win. So. So first to Coach Dixon, if you will. Uh, first of all, Derek Carter made his broadcast debut tonight. Yes, he did. I do it every day. <laughs> every home game. My God. We uh, just, I, I think uh, I'm here for every game, man. Double overtime. You, your guys uh, end up with a tie game at the end of regulation. What did you tell your guys as soon as they came off the end of regulation? Hey, we grew up, you know, in the second half. You know, we talk about defending away from the bench. You know, we were down four. We battled some adversity. And we talked about that, you know, leading up into this game. And our guys, we grew up tonight, and we just got to keep fighting. And the guys did. We battle injury. Guys stay strong. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> First overtime, Karan Davis goes down late with the cramp, and you talk about the maturity and the growing up process. You had other guys step up for you with the handle. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to win, you know, and we try to keep our guys motivated. Uh, tell these guys to stay strong mentally that, you know, we broke our season up in threes. All right? This is our second part of our season. And, um, you know, we played... Our first two mid games, very competitive, but it's hard to win. So our guys are learning how to win, uh, and we, uh, we're building something special. Right? You know, culture is hard to build. 
Tell me about the guy we're going to talk to next. And Chad Enders Fulton goes off tonight for 19 and was very consistent the entire night. Chad, I just told him, you know, after we uh, shook the opposing team's hands, that uh, he executed our principles at a high level. You know, everything he get around the basket, you know, pick and roll, he plays the right way. Can't remember a set to come out of a timeout, but he does a very, very good <laughs> job uh, executing our principles. Tough guy. He play, plays really, really hard on both ends of the floor, and um, he played a heck of a game. Today. You mentioned the toughness. How about the energy? Energy's great. I mean, we appreciate everyone who came out and supported us, and uh, we're building. It's going to take time, and winning is hard. And we tell our guys this every day, uh, but for us to get this win, it's awesome. Congratulations Thanks on win number one. Thank you. That's head coach Juan Dixon. Now let's uh, defer and uh, get Chad Andrews Fulton on the headset next. And uh, young man, you had uh, one of those instances at the end of uh, either regulation or overtime. You got a great look, unable to finish, but then you wanted that basketball in overtime number two to get the finish. <laughs> Let's try it again. So you had, at the end of regulation, at the end of overtime, there were chances at the basket. Then in the second overtime, you really took things over with the two late field goals. Oh, well, that was just me staying aggressive and trusting my teammates, basically. Uh, Taekwon, uh, all my teammates made a, made, a great, made a great play, made a great play, trusting each other. And that was, that was really the difference. We trusted each other, and we fought through adversity. You mentioned the adversity. It's no secret the struggles that this uh, program in Juan's first year has gone through. How special is a win like this in double overtime to gut it out, get the free throws, and then get those made field goals late in this double overtime to get the win? Well, that was that was a big part, and that's a big change. Like, cause we look, 17, 17 games, we kept on fighting, but we 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 we, we went over the hump this game. So that's just a good change, and you just gonna stay stay with it, stay 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 positive through everything. Keep your energy the way it is, man. We just love watching you play with the energy that you have and the tenacity on the glass and a new career high tonight of 19 points. Congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. There it is, Chad Andrews Fulton, player of the game tonight for the Coppin State Eagles who get a double overtime home win, first of the year over Florida A&M by the final of 79-78. Back in two minutes with our postgame show on the Coppin State Sports Network.